what it do all sports media tv followers thank you guys for tuning in and welcome back to another edition of all sports media tv as always i am your host kj the great thank you guys for tuning in let's talk about it espn top rank let it be known that we got a, a super lightweight junior welterweight showdown that is going to be taking place or is being finalized to take place september 28th between jose ramirez the number six rank super lightweight junior welterweight and arnold barbosa one of the other top guys in the division man undefeated fighter um jose ramirez is 29 wins one loss no draw 18 wins by way of knockout last time he was in the ring um, he fought he fought Rancis Bartholomew, however you say that Rancis Bartholomew Rancis. We're just gonna call him Rancis. He had a unanimous decision in that fight. Um, wasn't an ugly win. I thought he won the fight. I, I I thought he won it clear, separated himself really well. Um, you know, landed some big punches. Um, it wasn't one of those was like, oh man, did you see that? Did you see that? I, I didn't get all that. You know, I was watching, I was looking, and I guess maybe I was just comparing to other fighters in the division that I was seeing and thinking about where he was uh, going to land after that fight. But nonetheless, good win. The one loss that he suffered was to Josh Taylor. Um, that was in the undisputed showdown when uh, the division was fully unified uh, by Josh Taylor. Uh, that was, you know, in, in defense of all those titles. Um, but he lost that fight to Josh Taylor. No shame, no slouch in that. Um, he just went up against the, you could say, at the time, I'll say that, at the time, the superior skilled fighter. Nothing wrong with that because he's come back in a great way. He's reeled off uh, some good fights, some good wins, and he's uh, knocking on the door again. Let's say that. Now, Arnold Barbosa, this guy, 30 wins, no losses, no draw. 11 wins by way of knockout. He's got the skill. He's got the ability to bang. He can get in there. He can get out of there. He can move really well. I like him. He got a split decision win, though, over uh, Sean McComb. And a lot of people thought that that could have been his first loss. It was an ugly one. Uh, it was an ugly one. Uh, it, he didn't... Um, as opposite from Jose Ramirez, he didn't separate himself in that fight. Um, maybe one or two rounds could have went either way and changed the decision that the judges gave out. I thought he won the fight slightly. And I think we need to go back to like 15 rounds, go to 13 rounds so we can have an uneven amount of rounds. And you can just have more wins and losses than draws and split decisions and all that. Boo crap. I guess the science makes it makes it uh makes us stay where we're at though. No shame, no no knock on uh all of that, but these this is a um both of these fighters are uh golden boy fighters. So this is gonna be on the zone. They're gonna make this the main event of that night and they're definitely gonna they're gonna spruce it up to uh to bring some attention and, and like I said, whoever wins this fight is right there for a title shot. Somewhere, somewhere right there. I think Arnold Barbosa was the mandatory for Devin Haney. I believe that I'm, I'm not if I'm not correct, correct me on that. I thought he was the main uh, the mandatory for Devin Haney, but took a step aside money uh when Devin Haney fought Ryan Garcia. But he was ready to step in at, I believe because Ryan Garcia just was all over the place with his mental issues and his shenanigans and everything else under the sun you can think of that led him up to where he's at now. Um, me personally, yes, he probably should have been allowed to step in because we wouldn't have any controversy over who would have won. Arnold Barbosa, Devin Haney probably would have had uh, Devin Haney given uh, Arnold Barbosa his first loss, possibly. We don't know. That's left to be seen. But I think, yeah, I think that's where we're knocking on the door at with this fight. Um, we have to wait and see what Devin Haney does. I believe he was placed as champion in recess um, to take some time off because he's been, you know, boxing uh, big fights consistently. And 
Um, I mean, he's had one of the best stretches of a lot of boxers in boxing. You know, his last, uh, aside from Ryan Garcia, his last seven fights all came against world champions or former world champions. You know, went to Australia twice to face um, George Cambosis. Not the biggest test in a lot of eyes, I know. Um, but he won the fight with um, Vasily Lomachenko. Then he moved up to uh, super lightweight, went right after the WBC champion, Regis Progre. And then he had the fight with uh, Ryan Garcia. So he's been consistent. He's been, you know, diff. so it's okay if you want to take, you know, some time away from the sport. You know, let your body rest up, let yourself heal up, let your mental heal up, come back and get a good fight in. So aside from all that, I really want to see this fight. Jose Ramirez versus Arnold Barbosa. Excuse me. Jose Ramirez versus Arnold Barbosa. What do you guys think about this fight? Do you think I, 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 I'm I not going to give you all my final prediction? I know how I do. I always wait, but I'm going to give you give it to you. all once they get this, you know, uh once we get a little closer and everything is set in stone. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this fight and how you think this fight was, is going to go. Peace.